this time I would like to call the Hardin County Board of Education meeting to order. And uh, first of all, we'll do the pledge to the flag if you'll join us. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> All right. Thank you all. And uh, we're going to have a moment of silence. We've had uh, four students, uh, two from uh, Central Harden and two from John Harden that have uh, left us this year unexpectedly. Uh, Dylan Williams, Ethan English, Katrina Peters, and Jacob Barber. And uh, so let's just have a moment of silence for those folks. Okay, thank you. Board commitments. I got them. You got them. To improve our effectiveness, the Hardin County Board of Education commits to keep children first, listen, be prepared, be professional, demonstrate financial stewardship, represent the entire district and support district goals, support board decisions. All right. Thank you. And, uh, we have uh, John Wright recognitions. We we, Did you not have any? we passed on the recognitions tonight due to the weather. Yes. And uh, <coughs> focus on academics, Mr. Sutton. Saying we cancel parents, students, and uh, the speakers tonight for safety purposes. Well, it might be a record-breaking <laughs> short <laughs> meeting tonight. All right, recognition of visitors, and I don't no one signed up, John. That, no sir. Okay. Construction updates, uh, we had uh, Rob Deal at our noon meeting and uh, he uh, showed us uh, some more renderings of uh, Lincoln Trail and uh, East Harden. Things are progressing along. John, you want to address anything else to that or? No, just, uh, you know, wanted to kind of give the board a little bit better idea of exactly you know, where we're at in the process. We, you know, still, uh, still have a little bit of way to go. We're going to be bringing some construction documents to the board in December, and that's kind of the final stop, final set of information. We have to get to KDE to, to get all the T's crossed and I's dotted, but uh, pretty, pretty happy with where we are now and uh, looking forward to the beginning of the new year to try to get some bids out there and start breaking ground. We, uh, of course, technology and everything changes all the time. We had a few new ideas today. One of them was a tube slide from second floor to first floor for a grade school and uh, or an elementary school. And I'm not uh, totally convinced that that's the way to go yet, but uh, they say they have a few of them in Warren County and some different places, and we're uh, we we haven't. Uh, pulled the rug out from under it yet, but we also had an outside classroom that was uh, shown. It's pretty nice, uh, slate-type chalkboard, and uh, I could see that, you know, it would be a change-up for some students. Sometimes they get restless in class or want a little change-up, or it'd just be different. A little know? fresh air. Fresh air, while. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think one of my concerns was the safety issue of it. Uh, it would be an outside wall. It would be, they'd have to climb a wall and jump over a, a brick ledge or something of that nature. But, you know, how safe can we be? We can't control everything, but it would be a controlled area. So we, we've got some new ideas and we're still looking at them. And, uh, all right. Consideration of the consent agenda. And anyone have anything they want to talk about on that or pull out or whatever? Uh, <coughs> we're uh,
looking at uh, student services, about the normal thing. Uh, G.C. Burkhead uh, tripped to Indianapolis. John Harden tripped to Indianapolis, and I believe that was the first hit he's been at. We've done a uh, kind of a thumbs up for that the other day because that came up uh, not knowing that they were going to be going, and uh, our bands have done well this year. They really have. Uh, uh, didn't quite make the number one positions, but everyone knows that uh, Hardin County has been involved this year, so we're, we're proud of them. Uh, approval for Central Hardin senior class to go to Chicago and Columbus, Ohio, and uh, Central Hardin softball team to Fort Walton Beach for a tournament March the 30th through April the 6th, and I think it says something about me maybe being a chaperone on there. <laughs> and, uh, normal financial budget, uh, we're uh, approving a change order number 12 for Sea Valley Elementary and uh, two, three change orders for Sea Valley. We're still working on uh, getting that project the way we want it. Uh, we have a few little issues that's still out there, so we're shuffling some paperwork right now to take care of those. Uh, we're also going to approve a BG-1 for a John Harden High School paving project, which would be uh, paving the entire facility at John Harden, which has been about 16, 17 years. So if we don't do something soon, it will cost us more than uh, uh, in the long run, so it's, it's time to do it. Probably going to be somewhere around uh, a million bucks, 900,000 to a million. And 12 acres of paving. 12 acres of paving. That's, that's, that's a lot of asphalt. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, and of course, the site based council minutes are on here. Any other approvals? Anyone have anything they want to pop out there, talk about, or pull out? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the consent agenda as presented. Okay. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And uh, that takes us down to uh, <coughs> action items. Uh, we don't have anything on the no, action sir. item list. Uh, new business. I don't really have any new business. I did attend the uh, State Advisory Committee meeting a uh, week before last. And... Uh, as I hate to say it, uh, our commissioner was an hour and 15 minutes late for the meeting. Uh, he was only there for 20 minutes and he left early, but it, in the 20 minutes that he was there, uh, they're going to push for charter school funding this year. So uh, this is a non-funding appropriation year, but uh, he's starting to urge for it. So. What's going to come out, I don't know. I guess we as board members might as well plan on taking all the charter school uh, classes that we have to take because we may be in charge before long of a <laughs> charter school. So that uh, I was a little uh, <clears throat> set back on that. I, I think that uh, you know we're, we're going to get this pushed on us, whether the local teachers, leaders, administrators want it or not so that was their goal is charter schools out of the advisory meeting superintendent's report yes sir um i am very delighted to say we have had an increase in funding in our safe schools funds and title four funds and uh mr bauer has been working diligently to uh, come up with a plan to utilize the funds for that so we are looking to add five school resource officers um, these will be housed um, between our 
middle schools and the feeder patterns to those middle schools. Um, each time that you can uh, prove that you are providing additional safety to your students, the more funds the safe schools uh, will provide you. So with the addition of these uh, funds, we will serve approximately 8,650 students. So by doing that, uh, we plan for every student to see a police officer at least on a weekly basis and um, more like two to three times a week uh, with the focus at our middle schools. Uh, so we are excited to have those funds and really think that will um, make some good connections for our students to see the police in a very positive way. So uh, we'll be moving forward with that. But again, those are funds uh, from the state and federal level and will not be um, <coughs> an additional cost to the um, per pupil allocations that we have at the school level or district funds. So um, very excited to have that. And we've had a great meeting with our local law enforcement um, last week. And we asked them about uh, finding the right people for the right jobs. And so we're going to be working with our local law enforcement uh, to make that happen. So very excited for that. So Mr. Bauer, do you have anything to add to that? No, ma'am. Was that grant money that got distributed among the state schools, or was it just funds? A little bit of, I, I think mostly grant, uh, but like Ms. Morgan said, the more that you can show that you're utilizing it correctly and touching more and more students, the more likely you are to get more money. When we had that increase this year, we feel like we'll get another one next year. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we get a little fun there if we get by. <coughs> and it be full time maybe or just part time? No, they we, would be full. we were looking for full, full five time. full time officers to really? serve between uh, the elementary and their feeder patterns to the middle school. That's great. Can't have enough safety today. I don't know. Is that all you've got? Yes, sir. Golly. <laughs> Gina, we've made 15 minutes. <laughs> She likes it. Okay. As they're hearing the ice hit the roads on the outside. So. Okay, uh, we've got a board calendar that we need to look over uh, before the next meeting. Uh, Mr. Lewis presented that to us today, and uh, before the next meeting, we need to decide on one of the three options or uh, uh, the rest of them, I guess. So, no school tomorrow. No, sir. And uh, I guess we're ready to go home. Yes. We will, um, according to the calendar, we will dismiss school on November 21st to begin uh, Thanksgiving break. Um, so be safe in your travels, and we look forward to having everyone back on the following Monday. If it don't snow. <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn. Second. Have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Post. Motion carries. Thank you all for coming out. Short meeting. Have a safe ride home. <laughs>